Oh, this is my last time for a while. It feels weird. Here we go. Do it like you mean it. <laughs> yes. Feels good. And bad. Chapter 9, The Final Battle. Title well chosen. Is that war paint? Is he about to try to fly? Manus? Puma? Volantis! Right, his photographic memory. Or not. <laughs> Imagine if he jumped? Ibis would have felt real bad. Real, real bad. If today is our last day, I want you to know. Hey guys! Thank you, Soren! <laughs> Time for the battle meeting! He really is my hero. Saving me from the awkward love confession. It's crazy to think about the journey over the last couple months, which in the show's timeline is probably like two weeks. But yeah, lots come to a head. I've sort of gotten the idea from you guys that perhaps part of the reason why a lot of this is coming together so quickly is maybe related to the fact that they didn't know if they were going to get a fourth season. Personally, I'm not complaining. Like, I love these jam-packed episodes, especially the last two. But I wonder how this will affect the series going forward. Because I feel like a lot of the stuff they're doing here, like this giant battle, it's called the final battle, right? I can't help but think they maybe borrowed from some of the elements they had planned later to do this. You know all those times I called you the step prince or made fun of you or or knocked you down and stuff you remember that i do i do remember that i also remember you trying to make me look good in front of claudia and also you putting your hand on my shoulder when we were about to get attacked by moon shadow elves so you know let's weigh the scales here that is actually something i predicted in the beginning that hasn't really materialized yet although there hasn't been the opportunity for it which is soren as a big brother figure to callum i've always liked soren that's a big point of pride for me that i've been loyal to him for most of the time but i would sort of like that big brother dynamic I think it was because even though the king was your stepdad, it was it was so clear how much he loved you. That made me feel jealous. So I picked on you because I didn't know any better. Soren's just growing all over also the place. because you're smaller and weaker. <laughs> oh, thanks. And slower. <laughs> Can't ride a horse either. Falls down a lot. Should we like hug or something? You know, to seal the apology? Is that a thing? Do it. Uh, I don't know if that's necessary. Oh. Yeah. There it is. Maybe take it off the stairs, though. You have grown up so brilliant and strong. Oh, no. But you are still my little girl. This is exactly what she's looking for. And I won't let anything break us apart. Run, Claudia. So what happens if some break through? Mm -hmm. That's when our natural advantage comes into play. The spire itself. Right. Home field advantage. I love how Bait has warmed up so much to Soren. You will be a worthy defender. The last dragon guard. Nice, that's a huge honor for her. This is so crazy. This is all happening. That was like a season three finale, no less. <laughs> so cool to have them all together, too. I love it. That's a good team right there. We only wait on your command, King Viren. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's fine. Let's just do this. <laughs> okay. Wait. Right, they have something planned. Yep, yeah, there it is. Yeah, but they have plants too. There they are. They haven't brought out the big guns yet. Damn. Okay, Claudia. She also just wiped out her own people. That got real dark real fast. What's gonna happen when, like, Soren gets to them? When they meet on the battlefield. Oh, damn. <laughs> wow. Please kill this guy. I never liked him. They're coming. So the dragons? And Ezrin. Right. That's a lot of help right there. Claudia is the MVP of this battle so far. The Dragon Prince. <laughs> They're immune to the fire. So much more than that. They're strengthened by the blaze. Right, Sunfire. I'm getting some serious White Walker vibes here. This guy is just determined to stick around. You gotta go in there, Zim. Zim, I don't want you to get your hopes up. She's in a deep, deep slumber. 
And I don't think she's waking up anytime soon. She's waking up soon. Here you go, Callum. That's a lot of kills. There you go. This guy. <laughs> He's so pervasive. <gasps> is that who I think it is? In battle, no less? It is. Wow. She just gets more and more awesome. Everyone's here. Nice. Damn. I'm amazed by Anya right now. The Baker. What the hell? <laughs> Ultimate weapon, jelly tarts. Oh? Is that a ship? This morning I thought we were doomed. Then the dragons came and I thought we would win. But then things got doomed again. We know, we were there. But now we're okay. Yeah. Battle's not over though. Go to her. What? Rayla. It's okay. I got this. <laughs> I am so proud of you. We all are. Ezra's the man. The dragon man. Oh, it is over. Where where are Viren and Claudia? They're not done yet. My name is Marcos. That's the guy Rayla spared, right? This is not over until we find Viren. Exactly. And don't let Smart him guy. slip from our grasp. I'll order a massive search of the entire battlefield. We will find him and capture him. And put him in a coin. Feels a lot better to be on the side that's unchaining things. It's funny considering the fact that he always wanted to fight a dragon. New perspective, I guess. Claudia? Don't, no, get a chaperone. Ah! No! Drop the staff, <gasps> father! Wow. It's over. This is bizarre, because this really feels like they're wrapping up the show. Like I said that in the beginning, not realizing how much that would be the case. Like everything is sort of coming to a head. This all feels like endgame stuff, right? It's like the stuff of fanfics. It's like, you want the epic battle? Here it is. You want Sorin to confront his father? Here it is. I will do whatever is necessary to protect his life, because now I know what the right thing to do is. Do you hear me? Sorin, wait! Oh no. You're making a mistake! That was a nice touch because it is sort of easy to understand why Sorin would be against Viren after the way he's been treated and after everything he's seen. But it also makes a lot of sense for him to be so conflicted about Claudia because she's still kind of in between, right? She can be saved, let's say. There's a lot more hope for her than there is for Viren. So that hurts. Lay down your staff and surrender. That's a nice shot. <laughs> Whoa, I did not expect that. Damn, poor Claudia. Man, poor Soren too, for that matter. The battle is over. No, it's not. What? The real battle was never down here. All of this was just a distraction. Are they even there? The butterflies. It was always the butterflies. I should have known. We learned nothing from Lu Jane. He went for the dragon. That's genius. It is time to consume you. <laughs> the ultimate hero. That's it. Any any concern I had for Viren gone. You don't hit an animal like that. I'm sorry. You can consume Zim, you know, I get that, that's power. That, there's no reason to smack bait like that. That was just pure malice. To quote a very wise character in the show, if someone convinces you to do bad things and also hits innocent animals, that person is a villain. It will be a pleasure to add one more moon shadow elf to my collection. You hear that jingling? That's real, his parents in there. It's more than just one coin. I mean, you can fly. Wow, Erebos is doing the spell. That sounds crazy. Give up now. This is big for Rayla's arc too, because she's always worried about letting people down. Bait, man, he really is the ultimate hero this episode. You're my hero! Yeah, right? He's the best. That's all he ever wanted to hear. Yes. Such power. 
Weird. Oh. oh God, stop! <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> no, 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 Rayla! This is where he learns how to fly. Oh, see, Ibis. If they die, it's all on you, Ibis. Rayla, I love you. We're not gonna have a Spider-Man moment, are we? I'm, uh, Volantis. There you go. <laughs> Flying Callum, everyone. <laughs> Everybody's <is> like, bye. <laughs> I'm living. But how did you? Because I love you, Rayla. Because I have a photographic memory. I love you too, Callum. Can elves and humans have kids? <laughs> the burning question in everyone's mind. Burian's alright though. I just can't believe it. Everything we've been through together. In the last three weeks. We made a difference. Just the four of us. <laughs> five of us. Yeah. I mean, hey. And Amaya and just the yeah. five of you, huh? Right. And the baker with his jelly tarts. Is this? Oh, I forgot they can talk. It scared a dream? me. <laughs> we got a Raylam shipper. Elves and humans are here? <laughs> and end series. <laughs> that was a Star Wars episode four moment with the medals where they all turn around like that. Look at the audience. Oh, you're alive. What did she do? She just did a lot of dark magic. I survived the fall? No. Oh no, she broke a law of alchemy. Human transmutation. Caterpillar friend? <laughs> Two Ditched. days ago it climbed up that wall and spun itself into that. <gasps> it's changing. Ah! <laughs> Ugh, that's pretty gross. Final end credit sequence for now. Cute. Nice, sharing the love of jelly tarts. Aw. I see he shaved. And then on a dark note. So that was a really, really fun way to end the series. I mean season. It really does feel like a series finale though. It's gotta be because of their uncertainty about the future. And you know, I think that there are some things that are not so good about that and some things that were great about that. A lot of you guys have spoken really favorably about the third season. And I think that, you know, I would agree. It was, it's a lot of fun. And I think one of the reasons why it's fun is it sort of gives you more bang for your buck. Especially the last three episodes, right? It's like things just happen. It's all super exciting and the characters are really important. The stakes are high. I kind of hope that going forward in the series, they sort of take a lesson from that. I think things could be a little bit more condensed throughout the show. Especially when you look at like season one. Some of the scenes, some of the parts seem a little bit meandering and like mostly focused on humor, but I sort of like this pacing a little bit better. A flip side of that is that some things that I think could have been built in a more emotional way were done a little bit too quickly. Like I think Soren's arc, I'm really happy that he became good. I'm really happy that that all happened. But I think it, you know, it might have been more meaningful for him to grow a little bit slower, been a little more reluctant joining Ezra and Callum, building his values more gradually through experience and journeying with them, and then that leading up to a final confrontation with Viren in the future. Another interesting implication of this, the fact that they kind of wrapped up a lot of things really quickly, is I wonder what is going to follow. Like, we have four more seasons left, right? We've kind of come full circle and finished the initial major plot arc we started out with, which was bringing the dragon prince to the queen, casting a good light on humanity. And that's happened. Obvious conflicts going forward are Viren, Aravos, and Claudia. And I am really excited about seeing that. I'm especially excited about Claudia and seeing where things turn out for her. And also interested in seeing what happens to Aravos when he gets unleashed, when he emerges from this cocoon or whatever it is. There are a lot of really great elements they can still work with, which is really cool. This is the first time I've ever reacted to a series that hasn't completed airing yet. And so I was thinking I would do some predictions for the future. But because of the way it ended, I feel like that's sort of difficult. I feel like a lot of the, the narrative arcs have kind of been wrapped up. And the biggest questions are just like, what will be the next conflict? Or what will the next conflict look like? Since we know it will involve Viren, Aravos, and Claudia. And then what will happen to Claudia? What will become of her? What will her be? And what role will Zim play now? Now that 
his purpose, I feel, has kind of been fulfilled. If I have to guess about Season 4 and beyond, I'm going to say that there's going to be new arcs to the story that run parallel to the larger arc, which is Viren and, and Erebos. I'm guessing we're also going to see other factions join in with competing interests. This isn't going to solve the conflict between humans, elves, and dragons. There are still some elves we haven't seen. There's also a lot of history of Erebos that we don't know. For example, they hinted at the fact that he knew something about the Sunfire Elves grandmother and he whispered something in her ear. We don't know what that's about. There's still a lot of lore to uncover. There's still a lot of world to travel and nothing is ever complete, right? There's no final solution. Movies and shows often make it look that way, but really all that happens is one arc closes and another begins. I mean, that's how it is in real life. The problems haven't gone away just because they've found this alliance with the dragons. Maybe things have improved in some key ways, but there's still a lot of work to do. There's still a lot of threats, but we'll just have to wait and see. I hope that season four and the other seasons following it can match this kind of intensity because this was really fun to watch. So yeah, this is the last episode of Dragon Prince for a while. It seems weird saying that. It's, it's bizarre. I'm, I'm glad it's not over. I'm glad we have more to look forward to. But in the meantime, before we put the show on hiatus until season four, I think it would be fun to do a Q&A and discuss the series a little bit. So I will post a place for questions. And also, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on season three as a whole and the show as a whole also. And also what your predictions are for season four. I'm kind of curious what you guys think about that. So let me know. Otherwise, a huge thank you to all of you guys for following the Dragon Prince journey so far. Look forward to seeing you for the Q&A and then after that for when the show begins again.